eager like anything to come here. Oh, I'll come, I'll come. It's clear he had a hard time moving from the room to the chair, but he moved from the room to the chair so that he could be with us today. So, in all of these travels, he's traveled here for me, he's traveled here for all of you. I I know it sounds kind of funny, but I wonder how much we actually pause and think about it. How much of a, how many times do we think, Gurudev's coming here for me? It's always, devotees tend not to think like that. We tend to think, well, Gurudev's coming for all of us. Gurudev is coming for everyone else. Gurudev is coming to preach the philosophy or he's coming to do all these wonderful things that he does. But in actual fact, he's coming here for you and you and you and you and you. And he's making all of these efforts. So I've seen him do this. And my fervent prayer is that um, for a long time to come, actually all eternity as far as if I'm that lucky to be blessed to serve the devotees, I would really love to be able to feel Gurudev's presence by serving you all in any way whatsoever, washing your pots or cleaning your floor or helping you with anything that you need help with because as far as I'm concerned, you're Gurudev's representative to me. And that, to me, is the most inspiring thing about Gurudev because he's come, he's traveled, and you're his legacy, each one of you. And so I feel very blessed that even when physically he may not be here with us, he's left a very spiritual, very wonderful, um, I suppose you could call it remnant, a type of prashadam. You're all his prashadam. Mm -hmm. So please guide me and correct me and remind me how lame I really am and uh, engage me in your service and engage me in his service. Thank you very much. assembly we also have uh, a great happiness in greeting one of Srila Gurudev's uh, very I can say dear servitors who has rendered for many many years very wonderful service to Gurudev and the Vaishnavas throughout the world and he is now reappearing in our Sangha I want to call on Prem Prayojan Prabhu to come and offer his Offering to Srila Gurudev.
Chakshurum Vritam Gena Tasvay Sri Gurave Nama Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhikai Tudahale Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namo Nama Nama Shastam Manamapi Satiputta Matta Sarupam Rupam Tasyagrajam Urupurim Maturim Gostavatim Radha Kundam Giribaram Aho Radhika Madhavasam Prapto Yasya Patita Kripaya Shri Gurum Tamnatosi Vairagya yog bhaktira sampayat nair Apayanam mam manubhip sumandam Kripam buddhir yau paradukha dhuki Narayanam tam prabham asrayami First of all, after my sister and dandavat pushmanjali My heart like flowers thousands of times at the lotus feet of Asmadi Paramaraj Tama Guru Pahadhan Asmai Pranam at the lotus feet of my Sri Guru Parampara and Asmai Pranam to all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis First of all, um, I'd like to apologize for any offenses I've committed to the Vaishnavas and the Vaishnavis and beg for forgiveness if I've caused you any anxiety or disappointment in any way and pray that, that you will Or continue to sprinkle your causes mercy upon me. In Granthraj Srimad Bhagavatam, there, Uddhavti, he heard from Sri Krishna about the glories of Sadhguru. And on hearing this, he became ecstatic. Mm-hmm. He said, Naivo payacho patidim kaveyas chavesa Brahma yusha pikritam reda mudasmarantam Anta bahis tanuvritam tanuvam Vidunvan acharya chaita vapusa swagatim vyanakti Oh my Lord, the transcendental poets cannot find words to express their gratitude to you my Lord even if they will describe they try to express their gratitude in poetry for millions and millions of years why? because my Lord you are so kind that you appear internally as a super soul and externally as the Acharya to guide all the living entities from this world of danger and calamity and bring them to your lotus feet this is called the Guru Tattva Guru Krishna Rupahya Shastera Pramane Guru Rupa Krishna Kripa Karen Bhakta Gane Kavraj Goswami Pad, he said that all the scriptures have declared that Krishna has a form Krishna Rupa this Krishna Rupa is called Guru 
and in the form of Guru who is Guru? Guru is that person through whom Krishna expresses his kindness and mercy to all the living entities hmm? so yajapi amara guru chaitanya rodas satapi jani ami tahara pakash so even though I know that my Gurudev he is a servant of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu but at the same time I also accept this fact that he is a direct manifestation of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he is the embodiment of his mercy so on this day of Vyasa Puja I remember try to remember the lotus feet of Srila Gurudev and his mood his bhavs so deep and confidential that as a manifestation of mercy of Krishna Gurudev shares with us hmm? especially I remember on one Vyasa Puja day many devotees were speaking and glorifying their gurus and guru varga in many ways very high and elevated ways and saying my guru is faster than a speeding train and the bullets bounce off him he can fly in the sky and glorifying in many ways Gurudev was listening patiently then he said actually the Satsishya when he will remember his Guru Pada Padma, he will not be interested in this, this greatness. But he will be, he will remember the intimacy. Laukik Sadbandu Bhatsambanda. That this is the essence of bhajan. Essence of bhajan. He gave some very beautiful examples. Gurudev said that we know that Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sadhari Thakur was a great person. We know. But his father, Srila Bhakti no Thakur, he had so much love for him. So he never thought, oh my son is a great personality. Though he was so learned, the University of Calcutta kept a seat open for him there, permanently. But Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, how did he feel towards him? Gurudev said he was worried. Gurudev said he was worried. He was thinking, what will I do with my boy? Hmm? Okay, I'll let me arrange a job for him. So Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur arranged that he would become the tutor of the king of Kasim Bazaar. Hmm? So he was teaching the, tutoring the son of the king of Kasim Bazaar. After a little time, the son of the king has a sikha, Kantimala, he's wearing tilak, and his mother is very worried. <laughs> he thinks, if we keep this tutor in our house, then after some time, the prince will be a sadhu and he'll go away. So she nagged her husband, just give him some money and get him out of here. So then, the king of Kasim Bazaar came to Bimal Prasad at that time, I said, here's 300, 300 rupees, a lot of money then, and um, be, on your, be on your way. I'm sorry, but I have to dismiss you from this post. Vimal Prasad said, it's okay, you can keep the 300 rupees. I have done what I came here to do. Hmm? What is that? I have read every book in your library. He had a very good library. I have read every book in your library. I now put something in your heart, in the heart of your son. It will not. I may go away, but what I have given in the heart of your son will not go away. Hmm? The desire to serve Krishna. So he left that job. Bhakti not good. I said, Shila Bhakti not always worried. He's lost his job. Now unemployed. So then he arranged another job for him uh, with um, a medical company. This also failed. So then Shila Bhakti not Took a, had a piece of land in Mayapur and he kept a de deity there and told his son oh you are good for nothing hmm, in this world 
So you just stay here on this piece of land and you worship this deity. Just do that. And he, he did this. So Srila Gurudev was speaking in this way, sharing with us the nectar of the intimacy of the relationships between our Acharyas. Next generation. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sadhguru Thakur has one disciple. Very qualified, very intelligent. His name is Vinod Brahmachari. Hmm? Vinod Brahmachari, do you know? Our Param Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Pagyan Keshu Goswami Maharaj. So he is very qualified, very intelligent, and from a very wealthy family, land holding family. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur calls him, Hey Dokla, you stupid, hey idiot, come here. Always. This was his pet name for him. Hmm? Hey, stupid, come here. Hmm? Very, very intimate. And Srila, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshmaj, in turn, hmm? he collected his disciples and they were building Gurudev. He was telling all these pastimes, one after another, trying to give some sanskar, some impression to us. What is intimate relationship with the Guru? And Gurudev said, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami, Gurudev said, my Gurudev, he had us building Devananda Gaudiya Mat. And he told us, he said, when you're building, you put on the bricks, but don't use cement. I don't want you to build it with bricks and cement. Use with bricks and sand. Because after I'm gone, I don't know what will happen eh? with you. <laughs> what you will do after I'm gone, I don't know. So at least if you build Devananda Gaudiya Mat with bricks and sand, if it doesn't work out, at least you can sell the bricks in good condition afterwards and come out of it with something. Who is, who is he speaking to? Our Gurudev? Parampujapad Srila Bhaktivedanta Trivikram Goswami Maharaj? Parampujapad Srila Bhaktivedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj? His disciples are so qualified. But love is blind. Hmm? You cannot see. But they are like my children. Hmm? So Gurudev, Sadguru, Bonified Guru, has so much love for the disciples, like children. If they will one day here and there any problem he never sees these things only he wants to love them and take care of them I remember once in Bombay Srila Gurudev said that don't think oh Gurudev loves this disciple and not that one don't think like this he gave an example he said mm, some disciples think oh he's so qualified he knows so much Shastra or this one is so qualified he does so much kir good Kirtan but I, I don't know Shastra, I don't know Kirtan so well. Mm? Gurudev doesn't know me, Gurudev doesn't have affection for me, as he has for... Gurudev said, don't think like this. Just like a, a father has some children. One is a doctor, one is a lawyer. Eh? One is uh, disabled or handicapped. Mm? Is it that he loves one and not another? Whether they are qualified materially or not? No, all. All are his children. So... On this day, we try to feel some gratitude. Gratitude is a great attitude, gratitude. Mm -hmm. For what Guru has given to us and how much love and affection He's showering upon all of us. I would like to offer my pranam and thanks to uh, Bhandavan Prabhu and because Without his help, I could not come. He made my tickets. So I offer my pranam to Vrindavan Prabhu. But uh, I know that the real reason why I'm here is this is not the reason. Also, I am not the reason. Very simply, because of myself, Srila Gurudev. When I was. Mm, shortly after my disappearance <laughs> it's actually not funny <laughs> but you can laugh at me I should eat humble pie <laughs> I was uh, in England and uh, at that time mm, Shripad Bhaktidanta Asham Maharaj he came to England to see me so he's my very 
oldest friend in Krishna consciousness for many years. So he came to me and said he was with uh, Gurudev. He had been with Gurudev. And, uh, and he said Gurudev is in a very grave mood. And he's walking and uh, chanting Japa and walking alone. Mm-hmm. And he was very grave and sad. And uh, when he came from walking, then he said that mm, I have uh, prayed to Radha and Krishna. Oh Radhika, oh Krishna. If in my life I have rendered any service to you, then then in exchange for this, please bring my boy back. So, I think that by my own strength or for any reason, I could not have come here into this assembly. But, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu quoted mm, Kali Krishna Das and dragged him by force somehow or other, by Master Srila Gurudev, again I have the association of my dear God brothers and God sisters on his Vyasa Puja day. So in this way, I offer my Shraddha Pushpanjali at his lotus feet and uh, pray to him that he will always uh, keep me close and keep me engaged in the service of his servants. I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. Only one small point I would like to add, and that is that mm, I'm very happy uh, to and grateful to have the chance to co- be in the association of Vaishnavas by Srila Gurudev's mercy. And I pray that uh, next year, when we all assemble together, my very dear God sister Vishaka Dasi will also be with us. How long should we go? Should we go a little longer? Or one or two more? Huh? I don't know. All night. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to jump around a little bit. You know, there's a lot of senior devotees who haven't spoken, and there's so many junior devotees that haven't spoken, and so many in between. We've got a very long list. And uh, I'm trying to mix and match very artfully. <laughs> so, But I've been wanting to call on Manjari, Manjari Didi, to come and make her Shraddha Pushpanjali to Srila Gurudev. I knew her since she was a little baby. <laughs> so you please come. Gurudev, Shiva Prabhupada, that 
you please open my eyes with the torchlight of knowledge. Come to offer some semblance of pranam at your lotus feet. I feel like when I first came here, I heard some sound that was attractive to my ears. And I thought, oh, there's so many chirping birds around here. And then I found out that they were frogs. <laughs> I thought, hmm. <clears throat> Sometimes I can convince people that there may be some qualities 